Good morning, everybody. It's Rob Moffitt. This video today is going to be about bee venom and cancer. Um, I'm going to talk about one of my fellow YouTubers that uses bee venom to get rid of his skin cancers, and then a study I found this morning where doctors say that a uh, compound in bee venom has been shown to eradicate breast cancer cells and stop them from even reproducing. Um, this is Steve. He has a channel I like. I found out about his channel because he's got the best information on catching mullet <laughs> in the world. He's got the best mullet fishing information, but he also has tons of other stuff on his channel. He's But he's basically a bee guy. He raises bees. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I love bees, but I live in a one-bedroom apartment, so I don't watch him for the bees. But when he, when he has other shows on, like he has a lot of health videos and uh, things about uh, the things he grows on this place. But but primarily what got me interested for this video was he had talked about how he used bee venom to get rid of skin cancer. And I thought, well, you know, uh, that was very interesting, but I didn't know much about bee venom and, and, and cancer. And uh, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about using home remedies for things that are really serious because there's a lot of stories of people who did things where they could have been solved by the doctor end up becoming a tragedy. And you don't want to recommend people using stuff that, uh, that isn't proven. But then this morning, I was keeping old Steve in mind. I, I read this article, and it's uh, it's published by a, a cancer journal. It's not like uh, somebody's basement. Um, it's a study showing that bee venom contains a chemical that will uh, kill cancers. It's uh, Dr. Sierra Duffy. It says it'll destroy multiple types of breast cancer, even the harder to treat types. And it does it by containing a compound called melaton. Uh, the melaton, it destroys the cancer cell membranes within 60 minutes. Also, the melaton doesn't harm normal tissue and uh, uh, cells in the body. It says in 20 minutes, it not only breaks down not only kills the cancer, but it keeps it from being able to reproduce um, very quickly. Now, not every bee will do this. Like they found, this was, study was in Australia, and they tested 312 honeybees and bumblebees. They said some bumblebees won't do, work out, but they said like the European honeybees that are in Australia uh, and in Ireland, England, and I assume America too, will produce almost identical effects. Uh, so that they... Uh, they also found that this melaton can be successfully reproduced in the lab. So that's kind of exciting. It'd be fascinating to find out what companies are working on this. This is going to be big, I think. And they've, evidently, they've been studying bee venom since the 1950s, but only the last couple of decades on cancer. So my point is, I kind of, I mean, when, when Steve was talking about working on his skin cancers with bee venom, it was very interesting, but that was just one person. And he lives in Florida. He's not a doctor. He's just a bee guy. Um, but now you've got this study in, in uh, Australia that it wipes out uh, breast cancer cells in 60, in 60 minutes. That's fascinating. It's a miracle. It's a freaking miracle. So um, what good is this to anybody? Um, I think, you know, you, well, for one thing, if you didn't have a doctor, if I didn't have a doctor available and, uh, you know, there was none available, and if I had skin cancer, I'd definitely try some bees. Um, and if I had breast cancer, I would definitely look into, uh, after talking with the doctor, about finding sources of that melaton to try. Uh, it looks fascinating to me. But anyway, I want to give a shout out to Steve because he's been uh, waving the flag of of uh, working with bees to, to treat uh, people's health and Check out his channel. He's got a lot of other good information, not just bees on his channel. You might like. And a uh, real, real cool guy. And uh, check out the study. It was uh, at studyfinds.org. But the, the, it was initially uh, published in the NPJ Precision Oncology uh, magazine. So I thought you might find this interesting. I certainly did. It was fascinating to me that you could use bees for something like this. That, that's such a, a, a scourge uh, for people. I hate cancer. 
All right, sorry about that. I didn't mean to curse. All right, guys, hope you found this helpful just a tiny bit. And uh, I put new videos on all the time, every week for years. And uh, y'all come back, watch more. All right, take care. And go check out, go check out Steve.